Matvey Michkov, the Flyers' star rookie, has impressed early. Before the season even started, we saw him with balls of steel attempting a Michigan in front of Torts. Not trying to be a fool here, but it's cool to watch and all that, but I'm not so sure it's good for the game. We saw him in his first game go between the legs for an attempt at his first goal as the kid is clearly comfortable at the NHL level. He went on, of course, to score his first against Edmonton, displaying some tenacity and got not just his first, but his second in the same period off of a one-timer. Though early in the season, he is currently a point-per-game player and will clearly be a threat in this league for a very long time. But there will be lessons learned along the way and one of those came in their recent matchup in Seattle. In a game, by the way, that got a bit chippy near the end, but before we get to the game, let's head straight to the second, where four minutes into the period, Michkov into the Kraken end would take a pretty nasty looking hit along the boards as he took a second to get back to his skates. And so how about we take a look? Montour, the defender here, gives him a good shove from behind as Michkov goes into the boards hard. Now, first, was this dirty? If I'm a Flyers fan, yeah, this is my star rookie. Of course I want a boarding call. And I get that. 100% this could be called for boarding. But if I'm a Seattle fan, apparently I'm saying welcome to the league, kid. And I kind of get that too. Montour is committing to the check as he should when Michkov suddenly stops and turns back into him. At this point, there's not much time for Montour to let up at real speed. And so my opinion is, look, this is a fast game. These kinds of things are going to happen intentional or not. And you don't like to see it because it is definitely dangerous. And like I say, could easily be called. But Michkov did kind of put himself into this position. And it just comes from a lack of experience at the NHL level. He maybe got a little too comfortable out there, but he will learn from this and he will get stronger as a result. Considering he is all right, I'd say a good welcome to the NHL moment. Now, as for the game, at the very next whistle, things did get a bit heated. And later in the game, as I said, they really got a bit heated. But before all of that, for those interested, let's take a look at how we got here. In the first period, we got offsetting goals. As Scott Lawton, right place at the right time, tucks one early and would get the Flyers on the board, which was then answered late in the period by none other than Brandon Montour ripping one from far out, scoring his first as a Kraken. However, before fans could even sit down, it's Lawton from Hathaway who scored a second, sneaks in all alone, and his second of the period rips it over the shoulder of Grubauer. So a good start for the Flyers, but in the second, just two and a half minutes in, it's Fairby taking a slashing minor to put the Kraken on the power play where they'd go to work. It's McCann getting into one and he scores. How did Pittsburgh let this man go? He beats Fedotov five hole and the Kraken tied it up. Shortly after that is then where we got that Montour hit on Michkov, which we covered obviously. Let me know your thoughts down below by the way. But at the very next whistle is where things began to get heated. Hathaway gives Grubauer a little extra, sets Gru off as he sent a couple back. But Hathaway being Hathaway is like, what? What did I do? And so while it was a little testy, it didn't boil over yet. With five to go now, back to work, shot, rebound, and Seattle would score again. Tolvanen finishing it. It's his second of the year as the Kraken would take their first lead of the game. Not three minutes later, though, it's Gore to McMahon for Eberle, and it's another beauty. Tic-tac-toe. It's the captain with his fourth of the year to make it four to two as Seattle was out for blood. Just eight seconds seconds later, Eberle for right fires one from the middle for his first of the year, beating Fedotov who didn't have a great game as Seattle now blew things wide open. Down three goals heading into the third, the Flyers would make a change between the pipes, Erson in, and as we got going, ten minutes in, Lawton finds York and he scores. Firing one, glove side, Gru gets a piece of it, but just like that, the Flyers would make things interesting. Respond Responding though, Alexiak from the point and they appear to score but it's immediately waved off as Gord in front definitely kicks this one in. But Konechny gives him a chop, Gord gives Konechny a push back and now things boiled over 
as <laughs> I love this kid. We had Montour and Cartier with Sandheim, Konechny and Tanev going at it, everyone tangled up with the officials having to break things up. But just as they did, Konechny and Gord would find space and drop the mitts at center ice. And while they unleashed a couple, unfortunately YouTube overlords don't let me show all that, but they eventually would get broken up. Stick taps all around from the boys. Now out of all of this though, it's Montour who would get an extra two for roughing and the Flyers would end up on the power play with a major opportunity to get back into this game. Drysdale waits, shoots, and scores. Floats one through traffic to beat Grubauer blocker side and we suddenly had ourselves a game. While Philly now had all the momentum, a great play from Schwartz would break up Bjorkstrand all alone as he would score. It's a big one, regaining the two goal lead and this time they weren't going to give it up. Seattle would hold out and end up taking the dub 6-4 at home in what was a fun one. But yeah, again, let me know your thoughts on this hit below. And as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. I'll see you in the next one.